Good morning, Smith Station. I'm Kerrigan Van Cooley, and this is PNN. The parent meeting for Panther at Tryouts is on April 16th at 6 Eastern in the lunchroom. It is mandatory that you attend if you plan on trying out with your parent or guardian. Your books are $70 and can be purchased from Mr. Myrick. On April 15th, they'll go up to $75. The FFA plant sale is going on this week from Wednesday to Friday. It's from 1 o'clock to 3.30. Ms. Sedeclou's class is still selling buttons to support her class, so go buy and order yours today. Senior day is April 30th. Make sure you have all your dues paid by April 20th if you'd like to participate and get your cap and gown. Here's a graduation skit with Mario Sierneys and DeMonte Staten. Hey, um, have you done your midterm yet? Nah, but I mean, it's been hard, man. I ain't gonna be able to do it, bro. Well, dude, if you, you know if you don't do your midterm, you, you're gonna end up like Jason, right? Oh, you talking about little Jason? Yeah. Oh, man. Whatever happened to him, though, bro? I, I don't remember. I don't got time to be homeless, bro. For real. Yeah, uh, I think you should do the midterm. Can I? Can I? Yeah. Do this? Go ahead. Yeah, indeed, indeed. You got a pencil. Hey, dude. Yeah. Check, check out my report card. Yeah. Huh? Check out my report card. All A's. Bro, that's what I'm talking about, bro. You're gonna be like George Washington, bro. Yeah. And his father. Can they both as president? See these, uh, oh, dude, man. Yeah. You keep these grades up, man. You're gonna be the next business leader. You think so? Yeah. Me? Yeah. For real? You what? Owning your own business, man. Bro, what would that be like, bro? Let's see what that would be like, bro, for real. Do you want to be a successful business person like me? I'm gonna tell you how. Peanuts. Peanuts is good. I have my own business, I get my own money. And you can do it too, all right? Just be successful. So, DeMonte, what did we learn today? We learned if you have bad grades and don't do good in school, you won't be successful in life. If you have good grades and do good in school, you would be successful in life. Cool? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, do that. Bro, that's what I'm talking about, bro. You're gonna be like George Washington, bro. Yeah. And his father. Can they both as president? Yeah, yeah, for real. George Going Washington. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. I messed up. Yeah. I, I messed up. George, right, George W. Bush. All right, all right. George W. Bush, right. Here's this weekend's weather with Madison Dixon. Tomorrow, there's a high chance of thunderstorms. Your high will be 81, and your low will be in the 60s. On Saturday, there's a 40% chance of rain, so if you're going to prom, be prepared. But your highs will be in the 70s and your low will be in the 60s. On Sunday, there's also a chance of rain, with your highs also being in the 70s and your low being 62. This has been Madison Dixon with your weekend weather. Here's Jesse Stilwell with this week's video games. This week I'll be talking about PC game Reign of Kings. The game is a sandbox survival game with all the components and needs that entails. This means the player has a food and water meter that will require monitoring and actions as necessary. Once basic survival needs are met, the game's true entertainment value becomes apparent. The game features a crafting system as well as a building system. The crafting system is based around players using basic equipment to produce basic materials to produce more effective materials to produce more effective equipment. The combat is closely based after popular medieval fighting game Chivalry, or for those unfamiliar with the PC, more complex and demanding version of Skyrim's combat. This means combat is fast-paced and requires skill and reaction. The in-game combat highly encourages decapitations and delimbing as a way of dispatching enemies. There is a ranged system as well to complement the melee. Range is effective at killing weak foes, while tougher enemies can normally shrug off arrows, bolts, and javelins. As with most PC survival games, a large emphasis is placed on player versus player content. The ability to capture other players and execute or imprison them makes an appearance in the game. 
The majority of player conflict will likely be placed around the game mechanic called the Ancient Throne. The game has a throne in every server that can be claimed to make the claiming player the server's king. As king, the player is given access to powerful weapons that can help defend against usurpers seeking their crown. The real benefit of being king can be seen in the taxation system. The king can choose to enforce a tax across a server that means a certain percent of all the resources of all the other players gathered is directly given to them. The game is already released on Steam with more updates sure to be on the way. I'm Jesse Stoll and this has been PNN Video Games. Back to you, Kerrigan. Now here's This Week in History with Ken Best. In 1984, 11 people were in space. In 2013, 15 people, including 9 children, are killed in an airstrike. In 1973, 32 terrorist bombing take place in Cyprus. In 1925, Babe Ruth is rushed to the hospital after passing out during a baseball game. And in 1925 again, F. Scott Fitzgerald publishes a famous book known as The Great Gatsby. This has been Kimberly Best, PNN. Here's Nadia Hamilton with information on basketball tryouts. If you're interested in trying out for the basketball team, girls tryouts will be May 4th through 8th, and you can sign up in front of the PNN studio in Coach Jordan's room until April 30th. And boys tryouts will be April 11th through 15th, and you can see Coach Davis to sign up until tryouts start. Nadia Hamilton, PNN. Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Have a great day, Smith Station.